The next SCP is a family of cotton, aka SCP-670. Item, SCP-670, object class safe. Special containment procedures. The family unit collectively referred to as SCP-670 is currently contained at Sector 25 located in Redacted, England. Members of 670 are to be contained in a shared 12 meters by 6 meter holding cell. Observed via surveillance camera. Cell is to contain, is to contain four beds, a bathroom, and an observation window. All staff entering 670's containment area are to be searched for lighters, matches, and other sources of open flames. 670 is, is to be provided with 45 centimeters of cotton, 25 centimeters of silk, 25 centimeters of polyester, 15 centimeters of rayon, and 12 centimeters of rope each month. Any objects created, yeah. Any objects created by members of 670 should be used as a weapon that could be used as a weapon are to be immediately removed from the containment area. Alright, description. SCP-670 is comprised of four roughly humanoid individuals, dash 1, dash 2, dash 3, and dash 4, who ref refer to themselves collectively as the Cotton Family. Oh no, I'm already getting a bad idea what they're going to do with this. Are they going to be giant living dolls? Jerry, at what point in history were, were a certain race... Uh, connected with cotton farms i don't think this is what's going on because it said no i mean in the videos oh oh yes now you get what i mean can we just enjoy the scp before going into the video yeah because i like that idea of living dolls being terrifying but just doing their own shit yeah dash one and dash two appear to be the father and mother of the family, judging by their height and comments made in interviews about Dash 3 and Dash 4 are the children of the family. Members of 670 possess a thin outer layer of hardened clay skin, showing signs of deterioration over a long length of time. Under this, the organs, flesh, and nervous system are composed entirely of different types of thread. The majority of the thread used is cotton, but large amounts of silk and polyester are also present. Small amounts of rayon and nylon are also noted in the internal organs. The skeleton is composed of rope knotted into a suitable shape, and the fingers of, S of 670 members seem to be rusted sewing needles. Members of 670 have demonstrated an advanced aptitude for the use of thread using their fingers to create extremely complicated objects, such as suitable eating implements and seating in short amount of time. Notable objects created by members of 670 include one bicycle, functional, one television, non-functional, one clock, functional, one roast chicken, consumed by members of 670, one detailed family portrait, one dagger, Oh. Members of 670 show discomfort when using objects not composed of thread, such as plastic chairs or writing implements. The reason for this is currently unknown, and members of 670 refuse to elaborate on it. 670 was first discovered at Redacted Forest near Redacted when a group of hikers reported that they found a house made of rope in the forest. Agents were dispatched to investigate the matter and discovered 670. Hikers were dosed with Class A amnestics, and 670 was brought into containment without incident. <laughs> Interview SCP-670-1 Interviewer Dr. Redacted Forward at, at approximately Redacted on Redacted-1 constructed a dagger using 670's monthly thread ration. The dagger was immediately confiscated and-1 brought in for questioning. Begin Lock SCP-670-1 is brought in by security. Doctor Redacted. Hello, SCP-670-1. Please have a seat. SCP-670-1. 
looks down at the sea. And do you have any other other chairs? I'm afraid there's not. Can I stand? No. SCP-620-1 sits down. Uh, so, um, what's this about? I understand you made a dagger earlier today. What did you intend to do with it? SCP-620-1 seems confused at this point. I don't see what- Oh, oh my goodness, no. I'm not a violent man, sir. I see. However, I didn't intend- If you didn't intend to escape, what was it for? Rodents, sir. I'm sorry. Well, I've been hearing squeaking the last few nights and I thought I, I should try to get rid of the rats. They spread diseases, you know. Alright. Well, while you're here, that's one, I'd like to ask you a few questions. I'll try my best, sir. Could you please tell me where and when you were born? Redacted. 18 redacted, sir. Do you have any relatives? Yes, sir. My two children. Alfie and Elizabeth. I mean parts. Oh, you mean Granddad Cotton? Could you tell me more about Granddad Cotton, Dash One? Oh, he was a clever guy. Good with his hands. Just just said himself. As you can see, don't really remember much about him. He died a while back. Great guy, though. Well, can you tell me how you met to her wife? Dash One appears uncomfortable. I don't quite remember that, sir. It was a long time ago. Well, that's all for now, Dash One. Please return the other contempt earlier. We won't tolerate weapons again. Sorry, sir. End log. He's from the 1800s. No wonder he's fucking good with his hands. Yep. Closing statement. SCP-670-1 was returned to the contempt area and is currently under heightened surveillance. Oh, hello at SCB-408. Anyways, I'm with SCB. Alright. Incident 670-1. SCP involved. SCB-670. Update redacted. Location 670 containment area. Description. 7.40 p.m. Members of 670 are consuming polyester steak. Dash 3's eating implements slip out of its hands. Dash 3 suffers a small laceration on his left leg and attempts to conceal it. Other members of 670 do not notice his laceration. 8.10 p.m. Members of 670 are conversing while seated. Dash, Dash 3 stands to get up but stumbles revealing its injury. Other members of 670 quickly approach. 8.11 p.m. Dash 1 and Dash 4 restrain Dash 3. Dash 2 begins to carefully remove outer clay layer from Dash 3. Dash 3 vocalizes its distress at this point and continues to do so until 8.19 p.m. 8.13 p.m. Dash 3's outer layer is completely removed. A stitched together inner layer of red cotton is visible. Dash 2 begins to unstitch this inner layer. 8.15 p.m. Dash 2 deposits unstitched cotton thread on the cell floor, inner workings of Dash 3 are now visible, including the heart and lungs. Dash 2 begins unstitching the lungs. 8.17 p.m. Dash 2 deposits unstitched polyester thread from the legs next to the cotton thread. Dash 3's attempts to escape become less violent. Dash 2 begins unstitching the heart. 8.19 p.m. Dash 2 deposits unstitched nylon and polyester from the heart. Dash 3 ceases movement and vocalizations at this point, presumed dead. Central nervous system, brain, and skeleton are now visible. 8.25 p.m. Dash 2 has unstitched the brain and central nervous system, begins untying the skeleton. 8.28 p.m. Skeleton is untied and placed next to other disassembled materials of... Dash 3. 8.29 p.m. Dash 1 approaches observation window and requests identical materials to those currently on the cell floor. Request accepted. 8.34 p.m. Requested materials are brought in by 2 D-class personnel. Dash 2 requests that the clay skin is not removed. But other materials are delivered without incident. The materials are, that comprise Dash 3 are retrieved for further study. 8.35 p.m. Dash 2 begins creating an identical copy 
of dash 3 from the delivered materials. 8.44 p.m. Clay skin is applied to copy. Copy of dash 3 is completed. Dash 1 refers to it as Alfie cotton. 8.45 p.m. SCP-8670 retires to their beds. Retrieve materials contain no anomalous properties, but study is still ongoing. I think the anomalous properties is in the, the clay covering the covering the materials. Yeah, cause I was starting to think from um, I think it's like Jew uh, Jewish folklore, the golems. Well, it's not just Jewish folklore. There's common folklore where com where uh, clay is used to craft life. Even ancient Greek mythology oh, says yeah. that the gods crafted humanity. I forgot about that. Yeah, they did. Right. So we don't know the nationality of Grandpa Cotton, but someone in the 1800s named Cotton crafted the little family, and used special clay to do it. And that right. special clay allows them to be alive. Alright, the thumbnail isn't as bad as the previous ones. Yeah, but it's still a little off. Yeah. Instead of making them look like dull people, they're making it look like they're mutilating a child and turning her into a doll. Actually, isn't it? Aren't they making it look like... Wait, I just realized something. Isn't clay like more brown, brown colored? Yes. There's, as far as I know, there's no skin colored clay. There's red clays, there's brown clays, there's gray clays. There's not a peach clay. Also, like I was saying before, the design is less like doll people and more like Coraline. Okay. You notice they have button eyes, but she has one person eye and one button eye. They also gave the mother the dash two fingers cor uh, similar to the other mother. Oh my gosh, watch, they're gonna bring Coraline's mother and shit, uh, other mother in, in here. Miss Anomaly. Also, they gave Dash One one normal hand, and then they gave him a scissor finger for something. You want to do like a three? I would call it a four because it feels like ah. click space because it sound, looks less like a, a friendly family and more like Coraline. Mm. They're they're give, purposely giving it Coraline vibes. What's wrong one? They got the license correct this time. All right. Are you ready? I bet you they're going to go for Coraline vibes for this rather than the actual SCP. The thing I'm fearing is they go racist. We'll find out. Oh, wait. I need to get rid of the, the thumbnail. No. Technically, no, by shoot. making the flesh, the, the clay flesh, to, the like white people flesh tone, They've already gone racist, let's be honest. <laughs> Alright. In three, two, one. It was a new path for him. One he'd heard about before, but never ventured down. In fact, everyone had heard of this path, and most chose to avoid it. <laughs> Rumors akin to a cabin in the woods. The usual late-night horror stuff he told himself. Truth be told... He hadn't wanted to venture down this path today, especially not this late, and even more so by himself. In fact, everyone had heard of this path, and most chose to avoid it. He was starting to regret that decision now. The GPS showed that he was about 8 kilometers down the path. It would soon be time to turn around, before it got too late. He looked up to the sky. He still had probably two hours until the sun would begin to set. He turned his gaze back down to the path before him. To his astonishment, he saw a cabin in the distance. Had that been there before? It couldn't have just materialized out of thin air, right? He shook off the idea. Must just be his mind playing tricks on him. He approached the cabin. 
Only as he got nearer did he notice something strange about it. It appeared to be built almost entirely from rope. He saw something move on the roof of the house. It looked like a child. As he looked back down, he saw three more figures coming from the side of the house. He stared at them. What were they? His phone slipped out of his hand and clattered to the ground. The figure on the roof turned at the sound and lost its footing. It fell from the roof and hit the ground with an awful thud. Oh God, he thought to himself. Was he okay? He looked injured. He ran forward to the group now surrounding the body on the ground. They appeared to be a family. He felt awful. As he reached them, it dawned on him. They weren't human. They seemed to be covered in some kind of clay. Their eyes were buttons and fingers, sharp, rusted needles. Their Can hair seemed to be made from cotton. How does that look like clay? Huh? He said it looked like they were made of clay. They look like dolls. <laughs> yeah, they don't look like they're covered in clay. Yeah, not or silk. Yeah. They crowded around the boy who had fallen from the roof. What had he done? He tried to apologize, but they ignored him, seemingly focused on helping the boy on the floor. He tried to peek over them, but couldn't see the extent of the injuries. Something came flying out of the group. Then another piece, and another. He looked on the ground. It appeared like bits of clay and yarn. Were they... They're removing his clothes? How bad were his yeah. injuries? More bits came flying out. Now silk and sections of... rope? They suddenly stopped. A small pile of material on the ground besides them. I'm so sorry. Is he okay? The figure, which appeared to be the father, stood up and looked at him. His expression blank. The rest stood up behind him. He feared what they would do next. But instead, they just walked past him. What in the world was going on? He turned back to look at the boy. Welcome back. Today I bring you SCP-670, Family of Cotton. Please remember to subscribe. And back across the pond we go. Maybe this time Stonehenge? Maybe this time work? Boring. Come on. One day. Just one Why day. Why are we having the family of cotton be in England? I don't know. And plus, why did you want to go to the Stonehenge, the Stonehenge SCP? It's dangerous. I feel like this SCP was designed to be somewhere in the United States because it's a big place okay. where, honestly, a building could be there for, like, Possibly hundreds of years, and no one would fucking notice. Shameless <laughs> for danger. True. I mean, at least they haven't added violence yet. Yep. Anyways. But did, they did have him, them incorrectly throw the clay away, and they also incorrectly colored the clay. Yeah. True, England is small island here. Yeah. I mean, a red clay would be nice, a brown clay, a gray clay, but human flesh colored clay doesn't exist in nature. Yeah. Anyways. Are you an agent or a child, Chen? I'm not your guardian. Can we just discuss a little work now? Fine. After the hiker got home, he reported the incident to the authorities, hence why we're on a plane. Has anyone interacted with them since? Negative. They've set a wide cordon and surveillance is up, but since the incident, they haven't left their house. All right. Let me catch some Z's before we land. Good idea. I might get something to drink before turning in. It's getting late. Uh, do you want anything? Chen? Chen? Yeah, narcolepsy or something? The small rope cabin stood quietly, just as it had been when the hiker had found it. The pile of cotton, silk, and rope was nowhere to be seen. It was a family of four, but from what the hiker told us, it's now three. The boy who fell off the roof? Yes, it seems there wasn't much left after the family gathered around him. 
from the sounds of it, the injuries must have been pretty severe. Of course, it's all speculation as we don't know what they are. All right, family of three it is. Chen knocked on the door. A moment later, it opened slightly. Yes, may I help you? Hi, we're here regarding the incident the other day. Incident? What incident? Your son. I'm very sorry for your loss. I'm sorry. I haven't a clue what you're referring to. The accident? Your son. He fell off the roof. I really don't know what you're talking about. My son is fine. The man opened the door. Behind him stood a woman and two children. Kloss looked to Chen. Um, I'll need to ask you to come with us. The man frowned, but nodded his head. All right, I think I understand who you are. You'll come quietly. We aren't dangerous. The well, agents escorted them out the door. Right. They don't know. They seem, well, pretty chill and friendly. Indeed. Very courteous. I still don't understand what happened to the boy, though. Either the hiker is mistaken about the severity of the boy's injuries, or something else is at play here. Have, have they requested anything? Just some materials. Cotton, rope, silk. For crafting. Have they made anything? Yeah. A knife, TV, bicycle, and I guess some food? Did you say a knife? Yeah. It's been confiscated, though. Floss pressed the intercom. Mr. Um, Cotton. Yes, sir. How may I assist you? Did you craft a knife? Indeed, I did. You are aware that no violence will be tolerated. Violence? Oh, oh, no, no. Dear me, I do apologize. Rats, you see. Rats? Yes, I've spotted them during the night. Nasty creatures, you know. Okay, but please, just let us know next time. Righto. Sorry again. You buy it? Perhaps. I have seen the odd rat around here myself. Did you find anything else about the boy? Nope. Still doesn't know what we're talking about. Hmm. I feel like there wouldn't be Mr. Cotton. Yeah. That would be a containment breach. Yeah. And plus, if they did have rats in the foundation, they would probably just let go a couple of their cat SCPs that are safe. <laughs> like, Can you imagine a rat getting into the cell of the old man's cell and oh, yeah. allowing a shadow to get it out? Yep. That is why I don't think that would happen. Well, actually, there is one anomaly that would allow that to happen, and that would be, um, what's his name? It's one of the guys they have in containment. Oh. I forgot his name. So if the god SCP is in the same building, it might be letting rats in. Yeah, ah, fuck, what's his name? It's not pestilence, it's, it's something like it. But, yeah, that one, it does let, like, rats, bats, bugs. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> and even birds, too, I forgot about birds. Yeah, anyways. Uh, do you have any other relatives? My wife and two children, Daniel and Elizabeth. What about parents? Oh, you mean Granddad Cotton? Can't say I remember much, Wait, to be honest. Wait, is that the name El Elfie or something? Yeah, Elfie so, and um, Elizabeth. Yeah, they renamed him to Daniel. <laughs> yeah. Just a long I... time ago. Hmm. Yep. When exactly were you born? Oh, dear me. Memory isn't what it used to be. I'd have to say... 1850? Give or take 40 years. Interesting. We don't know That's all for what now. Thank you. after 18. Right it's redacted. <laughs> what you yeah, thinking? Also, they said 1915 when that's not... When they was in the 1800s, not the 1900s. Yeah. That's I wish Pythia was here. She might be able to shed some light on this situation. Next move? Let's hang tight for a day or two, 
continue interrogation and see if something comes up. Sir, there's been an incident with SCP-670. What happened? Oh, no. Situation is ongoing. The, the son, Daniel, seems to have sustained an injury. The family surrounded him, but they're blocking surveillance. Was the incident captured on CCTV? Yes, sir. Let's take a look, quickly. The family was sitting down for dinner. The wife presented a roast chicken made from the materials supplied. Cotton, silk, and rope. There, did you see that? What happened? Rewind it. The boy had cut his leg with his own finger. A few strands of cotton unwound. You see that? He's trying to cover it up. A moment later, the boy stood up, but stumbled. The father grabbed his hand as the rest of the family stood up. They pulled him to the ground and surrounded him, blocking the CCTV. Let's get to their cell, now! Mr. Cotton, please step away from Daniel. Mr. Cotton! The father stood up and walked towards the glass. How may I assist you? Daniel, what did you do to him? I'm not sure what you mean. We saw you pulling him apart. Apart, sir? Don't deny it. I can see the pile in the corner. What did you do to Daniel? I'm sorry, but who's Daniel? Who's Daniel? Who's Daniel? Your son! Your son, Daniel! I'm very sorry, but I don't know any Daniel. My son is Alfie. Why? SCP-670 is comprised of four roughly humanoid yeah. individuals, 670-1-2-3 and-4, who refer to themselves collectively as the Cotton Family. I don't know. Dash one and two appear- Having the child renamed after being put together was suggestive that they murder their child every time he gets injured. Yeah. Which I don't really agree with. ...to be the father and the mother of the family, judging by their height and comments made in interviews, while Dash 3 and Dash 4 are the children of the family. Members of SCP-670 possess a thin outer layer of hardened clay skin, showing signs of deterioration from over a long length of time. Under this, the organs, flesh, and nervous system are composed entirely of different types of thread. The majority of the thread used is cotton, but large amounts of silk and polyester are also present. Small amounts of rayon and nylon are also noted in the internal organs. The skeleton is composed of rope, knotted into a suitable shape, and the fingers of 670 members seem to be rusted sewing needles. The family unit collectively referred to as SCP-670 is currently contained at Sector 25, located in England. Members of 670 are to be contained in a shared 12 meter by 6 meter holding cell observed via surveillance camera. Cell is to contain four beds, a bathroom, and an observation window. All staff entering 670's containment area are to be searched for lighters, matches, and other sources My of God. open flames. Family, the pinnacle of our humanity. Never take it for granted, as it isn't easily replaced. As always, have a care. <laughs> Why did I have to go into a goddamn life lesson at the end? All right, removal of character slash license. I don't know if I should suggest two or three because they removed an S an SCP like staff member, but they also I feel like removed the identity identity of the child for a lot of the video. Yeah. What would you say? Two or three? I guess three. Okay. Alright. Added gore or violence? If they didn't basically suggest the child dies every time he's fixed, it would have been a zero, but they did. And now I have to suggest four. Yeah. So close to a zero on violence. Yep. Deviates from the plot of the article. Two? They removed the character and they only changed one part of the story. 
what they do yeah. pop themselves out and change, yeah, it's, it's a pain. I'm not sure if we can hear it, but Buster is snoring. Aww. He's talking in his sleep. That's adorable. Yeah, and, um, only man or, in a video such offensiveness, okay. They changed the skin to a color that is not clay. True. They, if they didn't want to make it black people, they could have made them have gray skin. There's a such thing as neutral clay colors that are natural clay. They didn't want red or brown. They could have picked gray, but they picked a color of clay that only exists if you either paint the clay, which they never mention it being covered in any amount of paint, or it, also, if they're not painted, where did the color on the lip come from? True. So it, it's just too racist. We, why are they racist against doll people? What the fuck is the world coming to? Okay. 